listen to you guys love you might thank you to everyone that's liked shared subscribed if you guys have purchased a reading or you have donated to my page thank you so much okay this energy could be masculine or feminine so you guys go ahead and place it on whatever side you need to okay i have clear quartz let yourself feel all your emotions, your entire rainbow spectrum of feelings is sending you important messages and guidance. Okay, so you guys may be a little bit in your emotions right now. I know my father is. He's a cancer. He lives with me. Very emotional lately. Um, some of you may have been trying to avoid some of the feelings that you have, though. You may not have been wanting to deal with them, but Spirit is saying... Don't avoid them. Bring them up because it's very, very important for you to get to a place where you can heal yourself by sitting in the shit for a little bit, letting it come up and releasing it. OK, you have Unikite. Answer prayers. All your great work has opened the door for divine solutions and support. OK, so you guys could be working on this right now, bringing things up. You can be doing this. OK, sitting in your emotions. If you're doing this. I commend you. It's a very hard thing to do. But as you do this, know that you're making yourself better. And you guys could have been praying for something that the divine is saying, you know what? You're almost there. Just keep going. Right? You may have been asking for guidance. You may have been asking for support. And it's absolutely there with you. You may have been asking for protection. And it's there with you. Okay? So let's see what's going on. When it comes to Unikite, what does cancer need to know? Page of Cups. Okay? Answered prayers. Page of Cups. Okay? Something happening in the summertime. It could have happened in the past summer um, where you may have shared some emotions with someone. Um, could have started an artistic or creative endeavor as well. Or you could have started your healing process. Okay? Some of you could have started this healing process back in the summertime. For some of you, you may have met another sensitive person that you may have had a crush on or they had a crush on you. For some of you, you could have had a baby. This could be a baby message, okay? Got some burdens going on. So some of you may have um, been praying for things to get better. Um, in your life because you feel like some things have uh, happened recently and you don't know how to work it out okay this could have been the things that you're praying for know that your ancestors are here helping you and, and watching you as you go through the things that you're going through some of you have felt like you're overburdened there's too many responsibilities you're stressed out you got too many obligations right and you may be being a little resistant of things. And that's that resistance that I feel with your emotions. So you may not want to kick in and show people how you're feeling right now. Some of you are upset because you feel like you're moving forward, but you're moving forward so slowly that you really can't see the, the progress that you're making. Got a lot of weight on your shoulders. Feeling very restrictive, too. And some of you had a child. It could be, you know, you could have prayed for to have a child and been happy to have a child. But now you have so many restrictions in your life. You didn't know that it was going to be this type of burden, right? Right? So you got the star energy here. This, uh, this is Sagittarius, by the way. Um, the star energy is Aquarius. Now, you guys are needing to pour into yourself. You may... Um, have not been taking care of yourself because you're overburdened or overstressed out right now. Some of you could be praying for a break. Some of you could be holding in your emotions because you just don't want people to know how it is that you've been feeling. Self-love, self-care, um, taking care of yourself on a different level right now is good. Letting go of any burden that is not something that's supposed to be in your life right now is also good. Okay, just being really true to yourself, guys. Okay, I'm a double Aquarius, so when it comes to the star card, I really understand it. 
A lot of times we are so busy taking care of other people that we don't even get the time to take care of ourselves. And I know that I'm speaking to cancer right now, but some of you could have Aquarius in your chart as well, or you could be dealing with one. Giving back to yourself, healing yourself, letting yourself go through all the things that you need to go through is a very, very hard task. Okay. Someone here needs to take a spiritual bath and just sit there and just cry. And as you cry into that salt water, understand that you are releasing um, some things that have been bottled up in you for a long time. Make sure that you take a cup in there with you and pour some of that salt water on top of your head to clear the mental boundaries and blockages and to release your energy so that you can start to heal on a different level. I don't know who needs that, but someone does. Yes, you're going through a lot right now. Yes, you have a lot on your plate, but guess what? I couldn't think of anyone stronger than you to handle it. And that's the truth. You got this, whoever you are. But you do, do need to release some baggage. You have some baggage that you've been carrying with you and it's weighing you down. You know, along with everything that you're doing day to day, you have some mental baggage, emotional baggage that is really holding you down. It's time to purge, guys. It's time to get that shit out. Okay? Like you go and take a piss. It's time for you to pee that shit out. Okay? <laughs> it's time for you to get it out. You know what I mean? Yes. I ain't going to tell y'all why. I promise. For some of you, you could have uh, an Aquarian that may be coming for you, that you may be meeting soon. Uh, maybe one that, are, that is around you that is going to bring you that, that lift up that you need. For some of you, you could be in a relationship that's going to be progressing to something deeper. And this is as you let go of this pain and this suffering that you've been holding on to and this burden um, and allow yourself to, to go forward. Right? This is you getting spiritually in tune with yourself and the divine. Hmm? One more card. Okay, some of you may be alone right now. You may be in hermit mode, maybe soul searching, maybe going through an awakening, or this is the person that's around you, okay? But I feel like it's you. I feel like you're staying to yourself, really. You got a lot on your mind, and you're trying to figure it all out, and that's okay. All right? Whatever it is that you're trying to figure out, it's okay. Some of you are healing. From, from relationships or things that people have done to you that you thought was really fucked up. And that's okay. Maybe some of you need to just sit down and be quiet for a minute. Or maybe people don't understand why you're quiet. Really taking a mental time out right now. Being a little bit antisocial. But um, guys, if it gets too bad and you need to talk to someone, please talk to a counselor or a therapist. It's okay. Should be no shame in your game for having to do that, okay? That means that you're strong enough to admit that you can't do it on your own, and that's quite all right. Some of you are alienating yourself like this because you don't want to let your emotions go. You don't want to even feel them, okay? And this is what you need to work on, okay? So when it comes to letting yourself feel all of your emotions, you have the Ace of Wands. <clears throat> okay? Ace is the start of something here. Right? Some of you could be dealing with a fire sign. Or could have one coming towards you. Or this could be just fire energy. Some of you are needing to work on changing your lifestyle. Or you may be doing that now. Um... Renewing your energy and your passions. Somebody could have had a baby as well here. Could have a child here. Like I said, two cards right here. Could be a baby. Now, some of you are needing to get out there and start dating. Okay? So that you can be 
um, open to receiving whatever may be coming towards you, but you want to take a chance, but be cautious, okay? You don't really want to go out and have one night stands or, you know, give yourself to people that are going to taint your energy, okay? And this could be why some of you are staying inside and staying to yourself because, you know, truth of the matter is, hey, I could go out, I could meet somebody, we could fuck tonight, and I'll still be feeling the way I'm feeling, and that's going to make it feel worse. So why? Okay? I get it. I understand. Totally. I've been there. I think everyone has. So you got to do what's best for you, okay? But you need to understand that you have a chance to do things or to start the ball rolling in a way that you would want to towards a new beginning for yourself. Or some of you may be being called to figure out what makes your passion um, spark right now. What What is it that you may want to do that you may not have done? Okay, you may need to think about that. Okay, for some of you, you may have somebody still on your mind here. Six of Cups. Some of you may have a person on your mind. This could be the person that you're thinking of with all these emotions. Or it could be something that you did not do in a long time that you may want to get back to. Okay, if this is not a person. Six of Cups energy. Something that you're nostalgic about, whether it be a person, place, or thing. You may want a reunion with the person. Um, you may have a certain type of innocence with the person. And for some of you, you may not be around a child right now that you're craving to see, or you you may have emotions. I feel like I'm talking to a father here with this Scorpio energy that may not be around his child and may be suffering a bit because of it. It's not going to resonate with everyone. If this it could be a, a woman too, but I'm really feeling masculine energy. It could be a female in her masculine energy as well. Six of Cups, emotional healing, family support. Okay, someone is needing to have that right now as you go through uh, what you're going through. All right, Ten of Cups. Okay, when it comes to this Ten of Cups situation. Um, what I'm feeling is a little bit different. I'm feeling like you guys are craving emotional security. You're craving love, happy family, happy life, right? Happy partnership. And this is what you want to come towards you. Not the fuck shit, but the, but the happy shit. The end all be all, right? And for some of you, you feel like you're not with the person that may have given that to you. Maybe you took this person for granted. Maybe they took you for granted. I don't know. But some of you are really mourning a situation that you thought should been should have been something different. Okay? That cycle ended with that person. Okay? And know that everything that is here, even though a cycle ended, you guys are at a place where you've... Um, met a completion point to where everything is going to be different thus far. You need to understand that the things that hindered you before, the boundaries, the burdens, or whatever it is that you went through before is gone. Spirit said that you have completed the work that you needed to complete to get to this point. So just understand that. This brings in goodness, love, abundance, growth, prosperity to you and your life. Granted, you stay on the path that you're on, okay? But you guys still, like I said, you need to open up. You need to get to a place of releasing that last bit of emotion that you need to let go. Okay? Bottom of the deck. You guys are on your way here to the lover's card. All right? This is what comes after completion. So even if you're trying to think about how to get to a happy place, you guys are going to be there. And this is Gemini energy. Right? This is someone that you have an immense bond with. <laughs> someone from the universe. Like I said, it could be a soulmate, people. Absolutely. It could be coming towards you. Okay? So I'm leaving it here. I'm sending you guys love. I'm sending you light. If anybody needs a personal reading, the information is in the box below. You guys take care. <laughs>